Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, welcome. My name is Becca. I'm a registered dietitian and I am very passionate about intuitive eating, which is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. I have been talking a lot about intuitive eating here on my channel recently because I just think that it is so important and a message that definitely needs to be out there and I feel like just with some of like the uh, comments that I received here on YouTube and on Instagram and things like that totally innocent comments but I feel like people are just kind of missing the mark which honestly no fault on their part and it's honestly pretty valid just because diet culture is what we're used to it's like the framework um, that we're used to living in um, as far as food and, and exercise and all of that goes and that's what we're used to and intuitive eating is completely opposite of that and totally challenges everything that diet culture stands for so it can be really hard to like really understand it and grasp it so in this video I really just want to focus on the basis and like the absolute foundation of intuitive eating and that is just eating to feel good intuitive eating is not just eating to sustain or nourish the body it is also equally as important in intuitive eating that you are satisfied and that you feel good and when I say feel good I don't mean you know you fit back into that smaller pair of jeans so you're feeling real good or you know you just fit into a smaller size now and you feel good no that is not at all what I'm talking about I'm talking about feeling good both physically and mentally diet culture will tell you that you will feel good when you get to you know X size in clothing or you will feel good when you lose X amount of pounds or you will feel good when you complete whatever program that's what it's always going to be telling us it's what it's been telling us for decades now and it's clearly not really working and that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about feeling whole and happy and satisfied and what you look like on the outside is maybe the tiniest percent or maybe not even included in all and how you feel because it really doesn't matter it is a big shift in mindset and not only just a shift in mindset but takes a lot of self love which can be difficult um, you know to love yourself when you're both physically when you're physically healthy as well as mentally healthy wherever you you know that whatever that means for you it takes it can take a lot of self love so I know that this is no easy feat but guys hear me when I say that getting to that point where you are just happy and at peace with both your body and how you're eating and what you look like on the outside so so fulfilling and so much more worth it than just the fleeting happiness or joy that you may get from you know fitting into a size a smaller size or looking better in a bikini none of that stuff lasts forever but feeling good both physically and mentally that that can last forever and that can fulfill you for your lifetime here's the thing guys we have been taught ever since we were probably tiny little babies we have always been taught that our bodies cannot be trusted and we most certainly cannot trust ourselves around food god no oh my god no if you just let yourself go oh my gosh you will just gain all this weight and you won't be able to control what you're eating and no bodies cannot be left to their own devices our minds must get involved and they must run the show so therefore what happens is we have all of these food rules not only the food rules that tell you like you know watch your how much sugar you're eating and be careful with the sweets and don't eat pizza every day i'm also talking about the healthy food rules like eat five to six servings of vegetables a day and you know make sure you have a smoothie to get all your greens and your colors in and you know all of all the rules we are completely saturated with rules and not only are we up to our eyeballs in food rules both unhealthy and seemingly healthy food rules we also couple that with extremely unrealistic expectations we are taught that it is totally normal to always be striving towards some certain body and have this expectation that you know we could look like that if we put the work in and we can look like that if we are willing to lay everything else down in our life and just go for that goal we are taught that it is normal to always be striving towards a body that we can't have it's so unrealistic and you know the ideal body that society is currently deeming as beautiful and you know like just the best 99% of people are never going to have that body. Only about 1% of those people can dwell in that certain body shape and size and whatever and be healthy, you know? Like genetically some people will perfectly line up to what that 
ideal body is but for most people it is extremely unrealistic and the only way that you can get there is by dieting and by restricting and by whittling yourself down over time and just taking all this willpower to get to the certain point which that's not even gonna last forever I mean it's just no wonder everyone is so miserable and unhappy in their bodies and people are just generally not doing so well because not only do we have these unrealistic expectations, we have lists upon lists of food rules that tell us that it will get us there, but we're never actually gonna arrive at that destination. It is just a complete disaster when you really think about it, and I mean, it is not serving anyone. I consider myself an intuitive eater, and this was certainly not something I've always been. It has been a long journey to get here. I recently did a whole video about, you know, my whole story about how I arrived at this point in my life when it comes to diet and happiness and all of <laughs> everything that's involved. But now when people ask me, you know, oh, as a dietitian, like you must eat so healthy, like do you cut this out? Are you on this diet? Do you approve of this? And I just say, I eat whatever I want. And guys, that freaks people out. Oh my God, it's like, you take the rules away or even the notion of not having rules and people lose it. They don't understand. They're like, how, how can you do that? You must not eat healthy. And how could you recommend that people would just eat whatever they want? If I were to do that, oh my God, I would eat pizza and donuts and chips all day. And I would never be able to do what you could do because I, uh, I, I need rules. And you know what I want to say to them? You know what? Just do it. Screw the rules and see what happens. Because here's the thing, guys, we are taught to live within the limitations of these certain rules but we all know that as humans we don't really like rules and they kind of stress us out and of course some rules are necessary but when it comes to food rules are not necessary our bodies are smart and they can figure it out we do not need to micromanage them so hear me when I say if you get rid of all the rules and you just eat whatever the hell you want and maybe that's pizza and donuts and soda and chips all day you're gonna get to a point where, guess what? You don't feel very good because bodies do not run on processed, unhealthy food. They don't. Can they eat some of it and be totally fine? Hell yeah, but can they eat only that and still feel great? No, never gonna happen. So sure, you may get rid of all the rules and mentally you feel so liberated, you can eat whatever you want, but physically you're not gonna feel very good. So is that healthy? No. And here's the thing, when you start intuitive eating, when you say, okay, Becca, I'm gonna do this, I am been dieting for however many years and I'm over it and I'm, I'm ready for this next step and you start intuitive eating, this may happen, okay? When you go a little crazy and because there's no rules and people wanna go nuts when there's no rules, but it gets old after a while when it's like, okay, well, you know, I've, I've been doing it up and you know, it's just not as exciting now because I'm not breaking any rules anymore. So it just kind of loses its luster. And not only does it lose its luster, but you don't feel very good. And therefore, you know, your body is going to be screaming at you like, okay, let's eat some vegetables. Let's eat some real food. Like I need some nutrients. I'm not feeling so hot. And if this short period of like going ham and you know not fueling your body the best and, and whatever that looks like for you, if that short period of time is all it takes for you to be rule free and both physically and mentally, so important, healthy for the rest of your life, my God, that is so worth it. It's honestly a no brainer. And this really freaks people out. This scares people because they are afraid that if they let go of all control, they're never going to gain it back. But that is just because we are taught that it is required that we have control over our bodies and required that we use willpower to micromanage them. But it is, I'm telling you, it's not necessary. It's not how our bodies are designed. Our bodies are so smart. And when you just finally let go of the reins and let them figure themselves out and do their thing, you're not going to eat that way for the rest of your life. I'm telling you right now, if you start introducing rules back in because you're a little freaked out, you're never going to get off the hamster wheel of having rules and trying to break them and get back on the rules and then breaking them again. You have to let them completely go. You've just got to let go. Your body is going to start to want nourishment. It's going to say, hey, you know, I'm not feeling so good. Things aren't functioning the way they're supposed to. And it's going to start asking you to give it some real nourishing food because it wants to survive. And not only do our bodies just want to survive, I mean, they want to thrive. That is something that is so instinctual for us. So if you truly just let go and let your body figure itself out and take the reins and do what it was meant to do and regulate itself, it's going to put you on a path towards 
physical and mental health. It really, it's, it is, that it's what it's, it's designed to do. It's what it's used to doing, but we just have gotten in the way all of these years. So you've got to let go and you've just got to give your body the chance to do that and carry that out and you've got to trust that eventually you will arrive at the point of physical and mental health and also one of the biggest benefits of just letting your body take over and letting go of the reins, stop micromanaging is you're no longer gonna fear foods there's gonna be no reason to fear certain foods because your body's in control and it's gonna it's not going to throw you under the bus and make you feel like crap. It's it's generally going to regulate itself to the point where you can have whatever you want and it just doesn't really matter. And nowadays, you know, I used to be really like, oh, you know, don't eat too many cookies because sugar and blah, 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 and all of this and refined and blah, 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 blah. I had all these rules in my head. And now, and, and so when I would eat cookies, I would go a little crazy because it was like, oh my God, I just broke the rule. I just broke the rule. And I would just like, <gasps> While the rule's broken, like, let's get them all in. No, that's not healthy. But now I'm like, all right, I can have a couple cookies or I might even have like half a cookie and be satisfied. Sometimes I might eat three, I don't know. But it doesn't matter because in that moment, I will listen to my body and I will stop when it feels right in that specific moment because there's so many factors going on every single day that, you know, you can't just only allow yourself certain things because you're never gonna get to that point of fully feeling satisfied. Or sometimes you might go overboard. And also like when it comes to high calorie foods, like God forbid, you know, mac and cheese or huge burgers at restaurants or whatever it is, you just don't really have to worry about that because whether it's a meal that has 1500 calories or one that just has 500, either way, you're gonna nine times out of 10, not every time because we're not perfect. And sometimes I eat solely for pleasure, even though I'm stuffed, it happens, I'm human. But nine times out of 10, I'm just gonna stop eating when I'm full. So whether I eat like, half of the 1500 calorie meal depending on how hungry I am or I eat the entire 500 calorie meal it doesn't really matter how much food is on the plate or how high or the calorie content of those foods on that plate because either way I'm gonna stop when I'm full so it doesn't really matter if I'm always giving myself the, my body the energy and the food and the calories that it's asking for in that specific moment I'm gonna be just fine. Whereas on the flip side, if you're like, okay, I'm sitting down to dinner and I'm only allowed to have 500 calories, maybe on that certain day, you might be like pretty full off of 400 and you don't really need the extra 100 calories. Or there may be other, day, other days where 500 calories just isn't gonna cut it and like you need seconds, like you're still hungry. But you see where you can get in this weird trap of just completely cutting off communication with your body because you know, you you have this set plan and these set numbers that you're supposed to abide by and you just cut off the communication, which is just not healthy. Now there's something I absolutely want to touch on and this is so, so important guys. So please hear me when I say this. If you want to become an intuitive eater and just screw all the rules and you don't live by rules anymore and you're just happy and floating through life and you know, like if you want to get to that point, which I hope everyone wants to get to that point because it is just a really great place to be for your for your whole life. But if you want to do that, you have got to let go of the physical stuff. You absolutely have to. I get comments from people all the time saying, um, you know, once I hit my goal weight, I'm going to start eating intuitively, which when you really think about it, it makes absolutely no sense because if you're dieting to get to that certain goal weight, when you start intuitive eating and you're, or, or just no longer dieting, you're not gonna maintain that weight if you had to diet and restrict or whatever in order to get there. Like it's just, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but also people will comment and say, you know, I started to eat intuitively, but I was afraid, I started to gain a little weight, I got afraid, so I went back to my, you know, counting calories or macros or, or using whatever diet or cutting whatever out. Again, it's not what it's about. And it makes total sense that people have these thoughts because again, it's what we're taught to think. It's what we're taught is necessary and normal. So there is no fault to having these thoughts and no fault, fault to feeling this way. But I just need to speak to you guys and just say that if you wanna be an intuitive eater and you want to find true health and happiness physically and mentally, it can't be about your body. It cannot because like I said, most people's expectations are extremely unrealistic. So if you hold on to this expectation of this goal weight or looking a certain way or fitting into a certain size, and then you also at the same time try and let go of the control, you're not 
gonna be you're not going to meet those expectations because those expectations are unrealistic for most people's bodies so when you let your body take the reins and do its thing the expectation and the body are not going to line up and that is totally absolutely okay and that's what i want you guys to know your body in its happy healthy both physically and mentally its sweet spot is not going to look like her body or her body or her body in their healthy sweet spots but also especially not going to look like the bodies that are being restricted and over exercised and micromanaged they're just not our bodies are not meant to be restricted and over exercised and micromanaged so what they're going to look like on the outside is not going to look like most likely i mean you know of course everyone's a little bit different and there may be some crossover but nine times out of ten those bodies are not going to look like the bodies who are just not being micromanaged and aren't living by rules because when you don't live by rules when you don't micromanage and you let your body do its thing it's going to get eventually it's going to land at a point or a range or look a certain way it's going to land at a point where your body is happy that's where your individual body was built to look like and to you know uh, function everyone is different all of our bodies are different so I just can't stress enough that you have to remove the body expectations and how you want to look and what size you want to fit into and what weight you want to be at or you're or you're never going to eat intuitively and be happy you're just not you've got to let go because society's expectations that are put on us and that we just automatically adopt because we're taught to we are never ever ever going to measure up when we're allowing our bodies to do its thing because again society's expectations are unrealistic so when we let our body realistically do its thing they are not going to match they're just not so you've got to let go of the physical parameters or whatever you're trying to get to you've just you've got to let it go and i know that that's hard and it takes work and it takes self-love but again so so incredibly worth it it is time that we shed the dieting mindset health at every size i don't care about bmi i don't care what i've been taught i don't care what is still being permeated in society it's not serving us it is not working no most people are not happy in their bodies so whatever we're doing clearly is not working so whatever size you are if you are healthy and happy physically and mentally who cares it doesn't matter the most important thing at the end of the day is that you are happy and healthy both physically and mentally and whatever you look like on the outside is like so secondary or back burner or like not even it shouldn't even exist like it doesn't matter and i know we are taught to care so much about that and taught to tweak that and just like that we have full control over what that looks like but we don't if we want to be happy all around and healthy all around we can't control it we have to let our body do its thing you've got to shed the dieting mindset and you've got to work on being aware of all of the sneaky diet messages that are still around i mean every single day they're around you've got to get that self-awareness up to recognize that and you've got to let go of the dieting mindset there is no other way that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and that this video was helpful to you and of course i would absolutely love for you to subscribe and also follow me on instagram so we can hang out on there but that is it for today's video thanks again for watching and for hanging out and i will see you guys in the next one bye